Well, testimony ended today at the bribery trial of former Buffalo DEA agent Joseph Bongiovanni. Since the trial began a month and a half ago, 75 witnesses have taken the stand. But as we hear from Channel 2's Dave McKinley, Bon Giovanni was not one of them, right, Dave? That is right, Mary Alice. And like any defendant in any criminal case, Joe Bon Giovanni was under no obligation to testify nor to prove his innocence. The burden is on the government to prove him guilty. And on this final day of testimony, it was all about the money. During the years, the government accuses Joe Bon Giovanni of accepting money from drug dealers to tip them to investigations and shield them from prosecution. A forensic auditor from the FBI testified there was $73,000 in unaccounted cash deposits into Bon Giovanni's bank account. Prosecutors insist this reflects the ill-gotten gains from the alleged bribery scheme. But Bon Giovanni's attorneys here say the FBI auditor failed to include the income their client derived from renting this home in North Buffalo, during which time his ten which included his parents, paid mostly cash. Add it all up, and they contend it just about equals the money the government couldn't account for. Thomas Devereaux, a CPA called by the defense, testified that his review of financial records shows tenants generally withdrew cash before the end of the month, and Bon Giovanni made similar deposits days later. While that would be consistent with rent payments, Devereaux testified he could not say for sure that is where the money came from. And while his calculations were revealed during cross-examination to still leave up to $16,000 in deposits unaccounted for, it is not close to the $250,000 that Ron Sirio, the admitted leader of the drug ring that Bon Giovanni was allegedly protected, testified that he'd been paying Bon Giovanni. Beyond that, the defense noted that when Bon Giovanni's Tonawanda home was subjected to a search warrant in 2019, there were no large sums of cash found, no safe full of diamonds or gold coins or pricey artwork on the walls. Perhaps the most damning evidence from the raid was this box found in Bon Giovanni's basement containing DEA files on Sirio and others of his associates, which he is accused of removing without consent from the DEA offices in the electric tower when he retired in early 2019. The FBI auditor didn't find those rent payments because she reviewed income and tax forms and the bon Giovanni's didn't report it on their tax returns, something else prosecutors made much of, but which he is not charged here with tax evasion. When he announced his intent not to testify, among the questions the judge asked Bon Giovanni was whether he was satisfied with the representation he's received from his lawyers. Supremely was his one-word answer. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thank you.